here is a really fun shimmy that I love to put into dances. It's called a choo-choo shimmy because when you move around with the choo-choo shimmy, it's reminiscent of a train. So let's start to learn this shimmy. I'm gonna show it to you. It is a good traveling shimmy and you can really move around the room with this shimmy. One of the things that I commonly see with the choo-choo shimmy is that sometimes we forget to let it move up to the hips and it'll just be feet pitter-pattering around. Okay, but we want this to be a hip shimmy. So find a wall or a chair or something that can help stabilize you and come to releve. Step one foot forward. Stay on two tracks and go ahead and put your hand on your hip. I want you to press your foot into the floor and this is gonna make your hip move up in space. So you can even come to a flat foot for a minute and I'm gonna show you from the side. You're gonna lift your foot off the floor, that's very important. Then press your foot into the floor. As you press your foot into the floor, instead of letting your heel go down, you're gonna keep your heel in high releve and you're gonna press so that your leg goes long and that's what makes your hip go up. So when you release your hip, everything's gonna recoil your foot lifts off the floor again, just one inch. Press into the floor, stay in high releve. The floor is gonna push back into your leg and make your leg lift up. Good, now let's speed up the pace. Press into the floor, relax. Press into the floor, relax. The key here is to stay relaxed in your oblique and to make sure that you're moving with your foot first. So if I contract in my oblique and simultaneously send my foot down, then I'm gonna be powering this from my oblique. Full disclosure, some dancers do power a choo-choo shimmy from their oblique or even from their glute. I really like to do a lot of things skeletally, where I'm as muscularly relaxed as physically possible because it gives me more energy for other things. So I am going to use the force the ground force from the floor by pushing in to the floor with my foot. And so I do not want to contract in my oblique. I want this to be from the foot. And this may be feel easy to you at this pace, but it's difficult to keep that relationship when you speed it up. So let's try going faster. Press, 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 press. We just got a little cat butt drive by and that should give us more enthusiasm to keep going with our presses. Good, let's try this on the other foot. So you can find a different wall, you can just turn around, and you're going to lift up, then press it into the floor, let your leg go long, and lift the hip up, relax. Press it into the floor, let your hip go up, relax. Press it into the floor, let your hip go up, relax. Press, 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 press. stay relaxed in your oblique. Press, press, press. Good, now try coming to releve. Step one foot forward. All that does is give you a wider base, makes you more balanced. So now we're going to press into the floor, press into the floor, press into the floor. Good, I'm gonna lift my arms out of the way so you can see what's going on. Once you feel like you've got some balance, you can let yourself away from the wall. I'm gonna show you from the front. Speed it up. Another thing that commonly happens with the choo-choo shimmy is we'll just end up sliding our feet and it's much more difficult if you don't actually pitter-patter your feet down. Tap, 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 tap. So if you saw my feet, they're literally lifting off the floor in preparation so that I can press down. Yes. Tap, 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 tap. Try speeding that up. Tappy, 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 tappy. This kind of shimmy takes some stamina. You have to build up the strength to be able to do this for a long period of time. So if you need to take a little break, that's totally fine. Let's come to the other side, whatever that other side is for you. Come to a wide base by stepping forward and go ahead and put your hands on your hips so you can make sure that this movement is going up into your hips. So if you are sending your heels down, the movement goes down into your heels instead of up into your hips. 
So you have to stay in high releve and press into the floor so that it sends your hips up. And when my foot goes down, my hip goes up. It's that principle of down to go up. Tap, 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 tap. Make sure you're actually pressing your feet into the floor and not sliding. Let's try traveling. Right, left, or whatever side you're on. Yes. Travel any direction. You can move your arms around. Good, so we're just going double time. Let's go quadruple time. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. Good. So this is a excellent shibby for traveling in space. Let's do one more drill where we're going to turn and travel. We'll start double time. And now with whatever arms suit you, quadruple time. And let's add a little travel. Good. You could certainly keep your feet right next to one another. I just like to have one more forward. This is also one of those shimmies that is a little bit more impressive if you're not wearing leggings. If you have a skirt on or some pants and it kind of obscures the mechanics of what's going on, then your hips look like they're just magically shimmying as you travel. You can even go faster. And if you weren't sweaty, before you probably are now. <laughs> Have fun with all your shimmies and this choo-choo shimmy in your improvisations.